Um, I have no desire to ever mend anything with that person. I see dead people. Oh. What is it, the brakes? Don't speak on your family, Cody. Wah, 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 wah. Let me see you push your teeth. Never wear a lie here, 69 guys. Melissa asks, uh, tweets, Drake claims he wasn't cool in high school. What made you uncool? <laughs> um, I, I just didn't. There was a, it wasn't that I wasn't cool. It was that the kids that were cool, I didn't necessarily, I wasn't on their wavelength, which made me sort of uncool, I guess. So like, you know, it was, um, I just always felt like an outsider. I, I went, when I was in Forest Hill, you know, it was an all Jew Jewish school, like, and just being biracial, but still being Jewish. So I was like kind of connected to the kids, but like sort of distant. And when, you know, when kids are young, they don't necessarily comprehend everything. Right. So it can get a little cruel and a little mean. Do you um, get teased a lot? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I got it, you know. I got it. Definitely. Were you raised Jewish by your mom? Not like, you know, not like Orthodox Jew or like, like extremely religious Jewish. I, I was, my, my, I mean, we, we, we celebrated every holiday and, and, you know, I actually had a, a bar mitzvah, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I, I, I was raised in a Jewish household, I would say. Um, but my mother's a very, you know, my mother was always like, you do what makes you happy. You be with who you want to be with. And, and as long as you're happy, as long as you're safe and you're not bringing trouble into my home, we're good. <laughs> Put the wrong label on me, I'ma get them dropped. I sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lie. He is 69 dot. Ay, freaking And we are live. This, this, this one is, is the racial undertone between K. Dot and Drake Beef. I just got done crying because I had a fight with one of my family members. I just want to come on here and say, black men and white women, please stop fetishizing each other and having children. You guys bring children to this world with no intention of actually supporting them how they need to be supported. And a lot of the times, a random ass white girl that you choose to knock up is racist and so is her family. You're bringing a black child into this world with one parent that cannot relate to them, doesn't know what it's like to be them. They're a white person, not even a person of color. And when these relationships are based on fetishes, obviously that white person has no intention of learning about black identity or doing anything to be anti-racist to support their children. It's so frustrating to have to deal with constant racial gaslighting and erasure of my identity. The constant microaggressions too, but the gaslighting is definitely the worst. And there's nothing I can do but be isolated. Like, what am I supposed to do? Go continue to be around them even though they refuse to learn and be a subject of their racism? I'm not gonna do it. Stop fucking fetishizing black men, white women, and racial babies. It's fucking traumatizing. Yeah, I never... I never thought I would see this day, to be honest. Euphoria. Getting neutralized, I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate. Heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate you? Not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Fabricating stories on the family front, cause you heard Mr. Morale. What pathetic master manipulator. How yeah, it's right here. You are, where is it? You are not a rap artist. You are a a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but FUBU never had been your collection. Oof. That's deep. He coming back to the racial undertone. Um, the culture basically has to do with race. You know, you you got to be black to be part of the culture. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just, it's what it is. It's like, you gotta be European to be part of the European culture. You gotta be Chinese to be part of the Chinese culture. You know, um, you can adopt it, but you would never be seen as part of whoever's culture you adopt. You would never be seen as, 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 as part of them, you know, um, which is what, which is what, um, Kendrick is basically hinting on. Um, you're not a rap, a rap, a rap, a rap, a rap artist. You're a scam artist, which means you're, you're you're not one of us. Like you're 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 not from this. You're not it. You're just putting on a front for the people, with the hopes of being accepted. With the hopes of being accepted, literally, what he said. You're putting on a front with the hopes of being accepted because what all your life you have you haven't felt like you belong anywhere. You, you haven't felt like you belong with us or with with with, with the other side. You know. So, so you're just putting on a front so we could just accept you because you know we're lit. You know, basically that's what he's saying. Tommy Hilfiger stood out. Tommy Hilfiger is known to be uh, a well-known racist. You know, he's he said a lot of um, degenerate things about you know African people in general. 
you know, African yeah. means black in general. So he's not really, he ain't really P. Let's, let's just go there. <laughs> and with Taylor Jane, let's go there. Yes. He ain't really P. We're not, he's not, you know, he, we don't really mess with him in the culture um, like that at all, really. But Fubu, on the other hand, for us, by us, it's a clothing brand. You know, that's for us by us because obviously if you're if you're not being welcome in somebody's home, you create your own home. And that's what Fubu, you know, signified for um, black people um, during that time. You know? Out, but Fubu never had been your collection. I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. I can double down on that line. I make music that electrify them. You make music that pacify them. Electrifies me. We are hype. We are, you know, we are jumping. We are off this. You know, whatever it is, we are active. And that's what Kendrick is trying to say. I'm, I'm, I speak to the core of the people. I speak to, 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 to the hearts and the minds of the people um, in terms of a liberation because that has always been a plight since you know, slavery, um, the transatlantic slavery, you know, um, and, and he's saying Drake has made music that pacifies. He, he's basically saying Drake is a scammer, right? He plays the act to look like one of us, right? If, if he, if you, if you walk like a sheep, talk like a sheep, eat, eat like a sheep, you're a sheep, right? Or, you know, but, but, but Kendrick is basically trying to say you are, you are a wolf and, and sheep's, um, and sheep's wool, or however the saying goes, and and because now you you know the people are seeing you as one of us, you're making you're making songs that pacify us. You're making songs that distract us from what is really going on in our environment and what we need to be concerned and not concerned about. And and this goes to the point of Kendrick saying you're not one of us because you're playing the other side. You know you cannot be trusted. You're playing both sides. You know, and that's what Kendrick is saying. But that's also been the plight of the biracial person in your life, and that they're seeing as they're playing both sides, right? So, so they do once again. They're doomed if they do. They're doomed if they don't. Uh, maybe it's just me, but this shit is kind of weird. So in the Family Matters video, you see Jake crushing a car that looks like the car from Good Kid, Matt City. But randomly at the end of the video, it cuts to this random white dude. So I did a little research on the internet, and I found out this man is a leader of the Hell's Angels. Now, I can't tell you that they're a racist organization, but I can show you a couple articles to show you they aren't very friendly to black people. I also want to point out that this is not his first time representing the organization either. Damn, BBL Jizzy has never beaten the white boy allegations. I'm sorry. Y'all think Jake is leaning into his roots or he just looks and I won't tell the truth about you. Shoo! 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 Are you throw away? And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power, fame will make you go away? Have you ever played? Have you ever? <laughs> What's a lame? Always a lame. This goes back to Drake's video when he was asked. Cool in high school. Um, if what he was part of the cool people or not. Um, and he basically I, said he, you know, I he wasn't part of the cool people. Because there was a, he didn't it wasn't belong. that I wasn't cool. It was oh, that the kids that were could. cool, I didn't necessarily, I wasn't on their wavelength, which made me sort of uncool, I guess. So like, you know, and, and Kendrick is saying, hey, man, um, and, and to be part of the culture is to be cool. You got to be fly. The culture is fly. You got to be fly. So if you ain't fly, my boy, you can't be part of the culture racial undertone. Basically coming for him. You're not one of us. You're not one of us. Okay, nigga, let's And he said, it doesn't matter how much money you get, you're still a goofball. Mm. To be a goofball and be part of the culture is not a good thing. You ever went to school in the hood? Do not want to be seen as a goofball at all. At all. Play. Have you ever watch your enemy down like with a poker face? Have you ever paid five hundred? I didn't understand this part. I don't like you popping at Pharrell for him. I would inherit the beef, but Pharrell is mixed. So is this, are we being hypocrites or are we just saying this specifically mixed race person, this white boy is not one of us because this white boy is on some white boy, you know, stuff you know and he's just not one of us him specifically are we just saying 
biracial people in general are not one of us because I don't want to agree with that. You know, I, I, I let them, I respectfully let let them tell me, you know, what position they're playing. Are they with us? Are they neutral? Are they I go, on the other DJ side? More high Jones. You know, Hit that beat. Let, let them tell you. Don't, don't insinuate all your black I'm black and Jewish, you right don't be mixed. so foolish right? I'm so. black and Jewish, it's a mitzvah Please don't forget I'm black Please don't forget I'm Jewish I play ball like LeBron and I know what a W2 is Now let me say I'm the biggest hater I hate the way that he hate the bitches you fuck cause they come Have you uh, been converted to a Drake fan yet? No, not at all Not at all <laughs> Not at all <laughs> Not at all I don't think it'll ever happen Like Man, I wish it was like maybe seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe like like ten years ago. Well, you know, catch the elevator, beat him up. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> man, just, just let him know, like it's real, son. Like you can't just walk around doing. So we had enough. How many more black features did you finally feel that? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? Oof, oof. This, this, this keeps hitting on you. you don't belong you know you don't belong right and i know this is how drake is feeling because this is how most biracial kids are feeling or people feel so they grow and even while they've grown they still feel that way they still feel isolated they can't relate to either one maybe they do then they don't black or maybe Jewish they can't relate to both so and when they do relate to both they seem to fake play both sides they seem they seen as fake if they play one side they seen as impersonating so that's just a plight that is, is always going to be with a biracial person right <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. It's raining so hard, I brought Roberts and coat to fetch my little girl home. I'm afraid you've made some mistake. Ain't this a 3B? Yes. Well, this is it. She can't be it. I had no little colored children in my class. Oh, thank you. There's my little girl. Piola, you may go home. I didn't know she was colored. Even did I? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Viola. Viola. Um, is it so you feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he acts up. He he's saying this because light skin and the culture is associated with being soft. So he's saying, play your position as a light skinned person. Be a soft person. I don't like it when you try to argue dark skin, like you said. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Stop. Stop. Going back to saying you're a white boy, we don't want to hear you say the N word because the, the N word has been adopted majority, majoritarily by um, Africans in America or African Americans or black people in America. Um, as quote unquote a term of endearment, but even though I don't agree with it, I'm not gonna make that. Um, I'm not gonna make that argument right now. But the 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 plan is that because black people have black people in America have taken that word and turned it into something that they alone can say amongst themselves. Um, that's the whole point of him saying, "Hey, man." We have reclaimed that word, and you're not one of us. You're a white boy. Like, across all, oh, keep saying, you can't keep saying the N word. It just, it's, it, it, it's just cringeworthy. It's just, I cringe when I hear it. <laughs> so I really do not view you as one of us. And that's what Kendrick has been saying the whole time. You are not one of us. Yeah, you P word can't get booked outside America for none. He's basically insinuating that he's the biggest star of all times right now. Like he's bigger than God right now. You know, <laughs> he's known everywhere. You know, you peons are basically just known in America. So all that culture 
nonsense you're talking about is just the states in America, okay? Anywhere else, nobody knows you, nobody knows culture. They just know hip hop, and I represent hip hop. I'm the I'm 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 the leader of the new school, basically. That's what he's saying. You know, you're not known nowhere. You're new. You're not culture. I'm the definition of culture. I'm leading today. What what I say determines what culture is. I'm the guy. I'm the one that's known. I'm not in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. He's basically saying, without me, there's no hip hop. Without me, there is no hip hop. <laughs> That's basically what he's saying. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. I I bring in the sales. I bring in the money. I make hip hop. I put hip hop on the on the, on the, on the front page. You know, I am hip hop. You know, the whole culture depends on me to to to. To make hip hop what it is, you know. So without me, you you don't have no culture. The culture that you're talking about is is irrelevant. So Drake is just keeps doubling down, and he has been um, Drake Drake has been doubling down. Like I don't, he's basically giving that. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a, I don't give a. If I'm not, if you're you're saying I'm not culture, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care if I'm mixed. I don't care if I'm soft, whatever light skin, whatever you you may see me as, you know. I don't, I don't care about none of that because the scoreboard is saying that I'm on top right now. And it just is what it is. I'm the guy right now. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. This, this, this is the ratio undertone. This is basically what I'm talking about. Who's they? <laughs> they got to be the people. Who are the people? It's definitely not Eurasians or Asians or, or, or Arabs. It got to be black people, right? So,